Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a stamp with your laser engraver. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, making a stamp with your laser engraver is a relatively simple thing to do. All you will need, in fact, is the uh, special rubber, which is used for stamp making. Then you will need a fixture, which is something that we are going to create in this video, as well as some uh, double-sided tape or glue and the ink. Now, if you are interested in buying the rubber, I'm going to drop the link of the rubber sheet that I'm going to use in this video. All right, so first thing first, we'll need to design our stamp. Now, if you are using Late Barn, that would be a relatively simple thing to do. However, if you're using uh, Laser GRBL uh, combined with Inkscape, uh, there will be a little bit of extra processing there. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to work with Light Burn. Um, and so now we'll need to choose, uh, first thing, the shape that we want. So either a traditional rectangular or circular, or really, since this is your own design, you can basically choose whatever shape you fancy. Um, now, in this video, I'm going to go for rectangular. Now, another thing that you will need to uh, understand is the size that you want. Now, if you're intending to apply your rubber stamp into a standardized fixture, uh, then uh, it will be good for you to know what is the size for it. Bear in mind that there are some standardized uh, dimensions for uh, stamps used worldwide. So uh, it is worth uh, checking them up if you want to create a standard size stamp. Now, in today's video, I'm going to go uh, with a 38 millimeters wide times 13 millimeters tall. This is a standard sized stamp. And we are going to do something simple. Let me put this onto the black layer for now so we can see what we are doing. Um, and let's do something very simple with some text. So middle room workshop to start. And then I'm going to do mid, there we go. Okay, so let's move this here. Let's move it to the center first. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, then I think it's okay. Then control up key to do finite adjustments. And the same thing I'll do with this. First I will snap it here to the center and then finite adjustment like this. All right, now something very important here to keep in mind is the type of stamp that you are looking for. Now the traditional stamp is the one that will leave your design and that will fill it right now, your design onto the paper. And so that means that your design, in this case, the writings that you are seeing here, uh, they will be uh, protruding from the surface and everything else will have to be basically removed, okay? Um, however, if we leave the layer uh, the way it is right now, uh, this is basically going to do the opposite. It's going to remove your design uh, and then leave everything else up. Now, there could be a second type of uh, design that you might want to achieve. So to basically have ink all around and then to leave uh, the lettering white or whatever the uh, color of the paper happened to be. Now, in order to do that, we'll need to put everything onto the, uh, into our fill layer. In this case, it's my red layer. And as you can see, this will basically remove all of the uh, area over here and only leave the uh, lettering as we want. Then uh, another thing to keep in mind is that you will want your stamp to be mirrored. Okay, don't forget that this will need to transfer onto your paper. And so to do that, select everything and mirror it. Okay. And uh, last but not least, if you're dealing with some uh, small details, very weak lettering, okay? There is uh, an option in Lightburn to stiffen the lettering by creating a ramp. And so to do that, you will go onto the layer, the layer that you're using, go over to advanced, 
and you can basically apply some ramping length and also to apply the ramping here okay so what this will do if we check it into the preview you can see that over the edges here uh, there is some difference okay so this will be basically a little bit of ramping uh, created by the software for you now if you want to have an outline which is something that uh, mini stamp uh, future uh, you can basically offset your outer edge so to do that select your outer edge and offset offset uh, so I will offset once inward okay you choose the offset distance click OK now what happened here is that uh, we basically reversed what we wanted to do so we will need to take now the newly created uh, offset and offset it once more okay and as you can see now we basically uh, will have an outline plus uh, our design inside now the last thing to do is that we also need to cut uh, this one from the uh, blank from the rubber sheet so to do that just click on the other most rectangle Control D to duplicate it and then put it onto your dedicated layer in my case I have layer number 9 this dark blue layer which is set with the parameters as you can see uh, with the longer array 520 watt it's 2000 80 percent two passes and air assist okay so once you are ready with that you will also need a stamp fixture now you can either go out there and shop for one standardized as I said I'm using a 3813 standard dimension or I have just designed here a very simple fixture which can be cut from uh, a two and a half millimeter uh, play wood and I have this green layer here with some curve applied as you can see over here minus 0 0.025 millimeters inward curve um, so this will make sure that we have uh, a good fit between the parts without uh, need for glue okay so once this is done we can basically turn on the machine and to engrave all right so the machine is now on and we can preview this alright so once we are happy with the alignment let's click on start as you can see the engraving inside is not so great but this is basically not going to affect your stamping result so what you care about is the tiny lettering and the overall design which is good all right so with the stamp ready it is now time to uh, cut out the uh, stamp fixture All right, now I'm going to uh, cut and engrave something a little bit different with a different fixture. So I'll put this out of the way and I will bring in this one. Starting with a fixture which will be made out of 18 and a half millimeter pine wood. All right, so before to proceed with the cutting, I'm going to proceed with the engraving. So I'm going to use the standard 9mm 
clearance plate for that. And I'm going to click on start. Now with this done, I'm going to change the clearance. Now I can home back the machine. And I can simply start the cutting layer now. Alright, so now we can go ahead with the stamp itself. Alright, so once we are happy with the framing, let's get started. All right, so we can now uh, proceed with the assembly. So first thing first, I will highly recommend you to clean a little bit the stamps itself. So I will get a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, spray on top of it and rub it with some kitchen paper. Now I'm going to assemble this part of the stamp. There we go, as you can see, it's a perfect fit and it is also perfectly flushed. Now we can apply a little bit of uh, double sided tape here on the back side. And now we can use the cutter in order to trim off the excess part. All right, so we can now apply the first stamp to our custom made fixture here. So let's first peel off double sided tape here. Okay, this is the first one and let's now go with the second one. Here be mindful about the direction, so we'll rotate it like this. Okay. 
Now it is time for the truth. So let's take a little bit of blank paper, the ink, let's stain it, and let's try it. Apparently it seems like our line was a little bit too tiny and it got damaged. So, and I can actually see it here. So this is something that I will need to correct for the next time. Yeah, it's there, it's a little bit lower. Let's now try the other one. There we go. All right, so as you can see, making the stamps is a very simple thing to do. Uh, you just need imagination, you have no limits, you can do any shape you want. Now, a quick note before to leave you is that you will need to uh, test your particular machine and laser module uh, with a rubber, one, uh, in order to find the parameters, and second, also to identify how small of details you can work with your laser module. Now, here, um, the 5 and 10 watt laser modules will be best suited for very small details and that is because the spot size uh, for this uh, laser modules normally is smaller. While with a 20 and 30 watt uh, laser module the spot size is already larger and so you might be limited into how uh, small you can engrave. But as you can see um, I was able to engrave a barcode a QR code actually, very small one, and some very small lettering, and I was also able to scan the QR code without any problems. And so this is pretty much all. Now, I hope you found uh, the video helpful. If you have any comment, leave them in the comment section below, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more video like this one. Ciao for now.